1999 was the last time that someone has stepped foot inside the house of this enigmatic American couple. The love between Ronald and Mayuri grew stronger throughout their 50-year marriage. They raised their two beautiful children inside the house and both had an appreciation for vintage automobiles. Unfortunately, Ronald was diagnosed with cancer. He fought bravely until he passed away. Mayuri, devastated yet determined, found solace in the support of her children. The Buick became more than a car. It symbolized their love and carried treasured memories. And to this point, it still remains in the backyard of the house. But now everything has been left behind. The house, the cars and all their belongings. Nobody knows what happened and why nobody came back to retrieve their forgotten memories. Step into the past with us and explore this abandoned time capsule house. Who knows what we might find? So everybody, I just took a peek inside of the house behind me that we're going to document today and I must say, I'm really shocked by what I saw inside. Like the place is completely in DK state, but the most shocking thing of all is that I think it has been abandoned for around 60 years. The last date that I found in this place was from the year 1954, just nine years post World War II. It's a very fascinating building and it's beautiful to see how it's dilapidated and falling apart over those years. We're gonna have a wonderful exploration today. I can't wait to show you everything that's inside of this place. Like I told you in the story, it used to be of Marjolein, or Marjorin, Marjorin, I have to say this right, and Ronald. And they had two children together. So they probably lived here from the end of the 1800s until the 1954. That's such a fascinating history. And yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's take a grand tour around the garden and then go inside of the building and show you everything that's left behind in here. And oh, it's really cold in here, so you get, gotta give me kudos for exploring in the winter time, because I am freezing right now. Okay, let's start this exploration. The first thing I have to show you outside here is these two vehicles that are still standing here after 60 years of time. They are completely rusted, but they still look in quite a good condition. I'm not sure what model or brand this vehicle is, but I think it was a former Dodge vehicle, if I'm right. Maybe I can see it on the back of the vehicle here. It's a D and an E, an O and D and G. They are a little bit faded, so yes, indeed, it's a Dodge vehicle. <laughs> Even the boot still opens. Jeez. I think this used to be the family vehicle of this family. Ice is forming all around it. It has endured 60 winters since the last time it has driven. The wheels are flat, as you can see. Yep, we can open this door still. Wow, there's a heavy duty door, I must say. Have a look on the inside of this wonderful vehicle. And back in that time, they used this sofa as the driver's seat it must have been very comfortable there are even springs in here like you can see the full mechanism of how the seat used to work it's just like a mattress very springy lovely steering wheel and on there on the odometer it reads 292,000 miles jesus christ Let's 
Let's see if we can still close it up. Yeah, that's okay. Completely snowed over. Let's have a look at the front of the vehicle. Deutsch, it reads on the front as well. And then we have another one. I think this used to be a Cadillac and it's also a convertible. As you can see, nature is completely devouring the top of this vehicle. Wow. A friend of mine in the Netherlands has a machine like this one. And he uh, offered me a ride one time. It's a pretty neat vehicle as well. Wow. You can see it greatly now with all the snow covering it. It is a fascinating piece. And this is the backyard after all those years of abandonment. Trees are growing everywhere. Nature is taking over this building, like wrapping it around, making it a nice nature hug. It's just covering it in ivy and other wow, shrubs and trees. The roof is completely falling off almost over all those years. Jesus Christ. Oh, these, is, these dorms are the worst nightmare for every single explorer. Whenever you try to discover a place, you have to go through these dorms and they will stick you from every side in your body. And then there's one more vehicle standing here. And I think this also used to be a Cadillac. Wow. I think I'm gonna go into the building from the back side. Because I saw that there was another porch over there. We already saw the front porch when I entered the place. So let's change it up a little bit. And let's go through these bushes and make our way through the backside of this building. Oh, I almost tripped over, <laughs> over some bushes. They actually had a pretty nice and calm and quiet backyard with the forest back there. The children probably could play there. Here we can see the backside of the building. I love the design of this one. Beautiful woodwork that they used to construct this one. And here we come onto the back porch of this building. Wow. They even had a rocking chair over here on the back porch where they could sit at night or in the morning, overlook their forest overlook the beautiful nature and calmness that it would give them. Ah, I just can't imagine what happened here. The story must have been horrible. Why did nobody ever come back to this place? What happened to the children? And why is everything left in here? <sighs> they even had an outside fridge here, probably to cool off some beers. For a nice summer evening, there's nothing in there anymore. Luckily, luckily I must say. And there also used to be a table down here for the family to sit outside and have some dinner together. That must have been lovely with this overview. Okay, everybody, we're now gonna head into the house and let me show you what's left behind in here because it's pretty crazy. Over the years of abandonment, the windows have broken. I don't think this is vandalism. This is just plain old deterioration over the years. Okay, welcome inside their humble kitchen. The dishes are still left after all those years. Wow. <coughs> and washed and still waiting here for them. Dish detergent from the food lion. The last pots and pans and cutlery that they used when they eat it inside of this place. The last cups that they used, everything is still on there. Even the food residue from their last meals is still on, their, on this fork. Wow, that always gets to me whenever I see dishes unwashed in the sink. That gets to me, that makes me sad, that makes me very emotional. Their glasses and cups still left behind. This was their microwave. 
This is insane. Oh, luckily also no, nothing in this fridge. <laughs> They're goat lets to take their bakeries out of the oven. Oh, let's hang this up nicely again. And some ducks above there. And from here, we enter into the deteriorated dining room. This is what so many decades of abandonment does to your house. The whole ceiling is slowly collapsing. Over time it will fall down, but it needs many more years. And then we have our dining table down below here, with all the dishes still neatly stacked on top of there. Literally none of them have broken over those decades. I can still imagine the family sitting here at the table having a dinner. And look at this cabinet that we have behind here. This is a fascinating building cabinet. And everything in here is still neatly stacked. Wow. Isn't that just cool to see? I've never seen such a big building cabinet before. And I'm wondering what this space down here was used for. Even with the curtains in here, makes it like for a very beautiful, cabinet have a look at this everybody that's literally how cold it is today the whole floor is frozen what you see over there is a literally ice this is ice this is also ice <sighs> i'm freezing my i don't feel my toes anymore walking through this place but i just love exploring i love showing you these places so for me it's worth it hmm, this is a nice painting or nice handcrafted I think is this real or fake no these are fake mushrooms so this is just made like this is not DK it looks pretty nice some flowers up there are peeling paints Wow now we have the chairs that used to be around this table here's the last hour that the clock has ticked you can still view it over here Beautiful to see. And then from here, we're gonna wander further. Oh, there's one more room to this side. Maybe check this out first. What was this? Oh, oh. What's this over here? There was a basement in this place? We don't see many basements in aban abandoned American places. This is very rare to see. Okay, but this is a bit difficult to traverse let me show you what i'm dealing with i don't know if i'm gonna risk it to go into the basement i don't even think it's worth it oh that feels like it's cracking through no and it's also too big of a drop to even attempt <laughs> no this is something i'm not gonna do <laughs> see if there's something interesting in here i see a beautiful oil lamp there in the back Okay, I'm gonna slowly back out of this. It's just just too big of a risk to undertake. <gasps> okay, I'm safe again, everybody. <laughs> I'm safe again. Let's now go further to the other rooms of this place. That's actually this room that we have here to the right. Another, I think this was the more, the dining room that they used the most where all the family dinners would take place, where the family would came together in the evening. And like you see, like I told you, they had four chairs around the table, one, two, three, and one is standing there over in the corner. And what's fascinating about this setup is actually that every single chair that is around this table is different from each other. Have a look at it. This could have two reasons. Or these were very artsy people that just like to have these differences throughout their house. Or they bought these at a thrift shop or maybe they were not that wealthy of people. I have no exact clue, I can't give an exact answer to it, but those are the reasons I can come up with why they would have so many different kinds of furnishings and items inside of this house. A wonderful table down below here with this lion's head on the side. 
beautifully crafted. And I love that everything is still on the table over here. Just like they can have their next meal in an instant from now. Oh, a vanity here in a corner of this room. Nothing of interest seems to be in here. But here we got a picture of the two children that used to live in this place. They look lovely, I must say. A jewelry box. I see something in there. Oh, this was a music box, I think, because there's a little music instrument in the back there. But it doesn't function anymore. Unfortunately, wonderful box. Oh. And here in the corner of the room, right next to the peeling, uh, peeling wallpaper, we have a little piano. Was it some sort of an organ maybe? Or an electric piano? I'm not 100% sure, but this was a lovely piece that they had standing here in the corner of the living room for anybody who fancied it to play a song on. We have more pictures down here of the family. I think it's some sort of a party event or a family dinner. Here we also got some vacation pictures of the family. Wow, this is on a sailing ship. There's some pictures they made from the outside. So many memories left in this place. Wow. The puzzle that they never finished. The knitting equipment also still left here. And I love this setup that they have over here in a window. First and foremost, this is a beautifully curved window. As you can see that overlooks the backyard of this place but also all the ornaments and decorations they put up here are just fascinating to look at and we're going to take a few steps back and let you appreciate what we're seeing here in front of us these hanging flowers over here very cool to see in this basket and the plates and the cups and everything and the ornaments that they put up here are just beautiful. Wow. This is probably done by Marjorin. She had a very nice taste, in my opinion. Look also how the house is formed architecturally. Like these pillars here in the middle that lead up to the living space through them. I have a few more items in this room that I have to show. For example, these plates. They also love to travel. See, this is a cup from the Niagara Falls. We're also still going there. Prospect Point. The kind of painting that we have here. Where there is love in the home, there's joy in the heart. And that's actually a very good saying. Home should be a place that is shared with family and friends and where good times take place. Wow, I love all these built-in cabinets that they have throughout this house. They're just so fascinating. And all this peeling paint around here gives this a very eerie, but also very beautiful feeling, this house. And then we have a desk over here, standing in the corner with even more pictures and memories of these people left on top of it. Their dogs that they once had. A man holding a bottle of whiskey. A cake that they, oh no, this is a lobster that they ate. Here we see a woman holding a child. Maybe this was one of the children that lived in this place. Even more memories down here. Have a look at this. The deteriorated pictures. 
the family that left here. Another man with a lobster. Okay. This is uh, very interesting. More pictures down here as well. Wow. And of course, the American flag is also present in this house. Look what I just found here on top of the table. This used to be the cash record of the family where they wrote down all their expenses. As you can see, this was a check that they got from work, a uh, hotel room that they got and all the different things, bread it says over here that they got and, and the date when they got it and also what it costed. And then they calculated it all over here. Isn't that just fascinating? That's interesting, really interesting. Okay, now it's time to head between the arches into the next room of this place. Dun, 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 dun. Look how cool this looks when you walk through it. It's just so cool to end up here in this living space. And that's actually the front porch over there where I was in the beginning of the video. And here we enter into the living space where the family used to reside in the evening together, have fun, have talks, talk about life, talk about their jobs, talk about experiences that, that they had during the day. If the walls could talk in this place, they would tell tales and story of the family that once lived here. She was a resident, I think she was Marjorie at one point. And here we see their marriage. Oh, that's amazing. Again, on this side, they also have these built-in cabinets. I love the pink that's on this one. We have a blue one over there. Another set of ducks. We saw already ducks everywhere in this place. She probably was a big fan of ducks. There's even this teddy bear here in the corner. Let's put him up right in the corner. Lovely looking. And then they had this fireplace. I wish this fireplace was on today because I'm literally freezing and that would be so nice. Must have been wonderful sitting here in front of the fireplace. She here, he there, drinking a glass of wine together. Wow, I can still imagine seeing them sitting there together, being happy. textile artworks up here don't exactly know what it represents but these are like villages around this area and here we got a picture of the man ronald another american flag laying here and the chicken house oh, look at that the chicken house some christmas decorations still here in the fireplace and then we have this corner over here. But yet again, Mayurin coming back. She looked literally lovely. Her picture is still standing here until eternity. And this is another photo album, everybody. Wow. Of their travels throughout the United States. Here we see pictures of the Niagara Falls. So many memories have been left in this place. It's just insane to see. Oh, this mini, mini America, I think, or mini Europe, I'm not sure. We also have the same style of amusement park in my home country, Brussels, in the, in the capital city. The tulip fields. Wow. It's just amazing to see all these memories, amazing and sad at the same time to see that all these memories are left here. We got a record standing here in the corner. Seals and crofts, diamond girl, and then a swan with all these flowers over here. Wow. I actually have to look one more time at these sitting areas. I was wondering if this was, oh no, this is uh, not leather. Okay, this is Paul Street. They look amazing. 
And then we have this corner table here with a lot of different artifacts still left on there. Got this picture of this woman here. Maybe she was like a grandmother of the family. Some glasses still left here. One last cigarette still in the ashtray. And what I really adore is this trumpet that's laying here on top. Fascinating. The front door to come into the place. Oh, where did I stumble upon? Okay, there's a glass bottle on the floor. And then to this side, they had another sitting area. Because, yeah, there were four people inside of this house. And five chairs, maybe one guest came over. They also could give them a seat. I love this vacuum machine standing here as well. Very vintage model. Electrolux. It's probably an American brand. I've never heard of it. We don't have it in Europe anyway. Some tasteful artworks here. Now we got four children on this picture. Okay. Wow. A fisherman's lamp. <laughs> we are in the region of America right now, in Delaware, where fishing villages are. We are one of those fishing villages. And you can see a lot of things like that are coming back throughout this place. But have a look now at the ceiling. There's like icicles forming here. That's literally how cold it is in here. Icicles are forming on the ceiling of this house. It's just insane. Oh, and even the windows here have broken. It can look straight out on the front porch. that I used to explore abandoned places I never really thought or even cared about that houses like this with all the memories and items inside of it are left behind for decades on end but now it feels to me like a mission to document all these places and give these a space on the internet because for me it's very important that these people are known about, they are left behind, there is probably a reason why this place is abandoned, maybe something terrible happened to them, maybe something unfortunate happened to them, and their story never got told and their memories never got collected. But by, for me it feels like by documenting these places and bringing them to the internet, bringing them onto my channel, I give these people a place to rest and a place for eternity to be there and that just fulfills me and I know that you all like this as well. Now it's time everybody to pick up the camera again and go to the second floor of this place. But we have to be very, very careful traversing the stairway because as you can see over those decades, it's completely falling apart. Just like the one in the basement, you can see there's even a step over here that's broken Oh my gosh, Oh, I feel it cracking underneath my feet. <laughs> Pieces of the wall are falling off. Okay, here you can look straight into the basement. This was the stairway that I was doing beforehand. Okay, but then we end up on the top floor. Okay, Let's slowly put my feet on this one. That's not a good sign if you hear the floor cracking underneath your feet. We came to the second floor. Let's first go here to the right. And these floors seem to be even more decayed than the downstairs because they are closer to the roof of this place, of course. Some toys from the girl that lived in here are left behind and of course a typewriter. 
a boy and a girl lived in here and here we can see a tank of the boy might have also been of the girl maybe she played with it it's all a possibility we live in a very open and modern world this seems to be like some sort of a playroom where the children enjoy themselves we've got some teddy bears of them here set up on the on the seat and another typewriter a royal typewriter over here on this it's crazy how the floor has all iced up like literally everything i can't even pick it up anymore it's all underneath the ice over here wow you hear the ice cracking underneath my feet and then you have this little cabinet here on the wall some beautiful ornaments in there let's go further before i crack through the floor to the downstairs floor jesus christ a lot of things here in the hallway as well let's have a look at those handwritten letters oh it fell on the ground Dear Marjolein, how about you? He's talking about studying and everything. Got some other things in here as well. Some Christmas cards. Here we got a letter. Nothing on there anymore, unfortunately. Okay. This room is also completely falling apart. I think this also used to be a bedroom. You can see a bed frame standing there in the corner and the whole ceiling is collapsing over here but look at this bucket with these christmas balls it's standing here in the middle of the room that's completely frozen up and the christmas balls are frozen with it jeez that whole part of the roof is collapsing over there this house is not gonna stand for much longer okay Let's go back here and then to this side we have the bathroom of the place. One single bathroom for everybody in the house, but that's definitely enough. Wonderful bathtub, like American houses. They always have a bathtub with a shower head above there. I don't know why this is, but in Europe we mostly have a shower or a bathtub. But not this combination, it's not very common. So I find it quite interesting, but it's, it's handy, I must say. Yeah. There you see that like every single country is different and has its own customs. After all those decades, even the towels are still hanging here on the drying rack. The roll of toilet paper is still left on top of the toilet. Even the cloth and everything. And even their toothbrushes over here are still on top of the sink. Wow, it's literally insane. Oh, look at this. There's even a bird's nest in here. Like a bird has started living in this bathroom and made it his home. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Okay, there's a stairway here. It leads to an attic. Let's, let's check that out first. Is there anything up here of interest? To, ooh, this seems to be a completely empty attic. But it's still in a very good shape, I must say. It's completely empty. Interesting. Let's close this up. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, oh that's difficult. Yep. Otherwise, we can't enter the rooms the next room. That makes a terrible sound. Okay. I'm gonna leave it right there. Excuse me for that terrible sound. Let's first go to this room. And this seems to have been the room of the girl that slept in this place. And I say this because of all the dolls that are standing here on top of the vanity. It's very beautiful to see all the dolls that you once played with. 
are all still here. Some people find dolls in abandoned places creepy, but I would just find them fascinating to see. They tell a story. They tell a story of a child that once played here, and that once had fun here and used their imagination to play with all these different kind of toys. What kind of book do I do? <laughs> I just knocked over the, the doll. Ah, oh, this is for a library stamp. This is free from the library, it says over there. Okay, The Little Colonel in Arizona. I never read that book. I little, read a lot of books, but this one I've never read before. It's probably a children's book. And here in the cabinet, all our clothing are still left in here. Wow. All still neatly hanging from their coat hangers. That's one of the weird things what you see in abandoned places. Clothes hanging in the closet. Such a weird sight. Just like somebody could come home, put these on and start living here again. Here is the calendar from 1954. The youngest date that I've found so far in this place. But I must say, some items seem like they are not 60 years old. So I don't directly believe that it has been abandoned in 1954. But it has definitely been abandoned for some decades. I think three to four decades is reasonable to assume. More dolls standing here on top of this library, on top of this bookcase. And all the books are also still in there. Wow. Christmas ornaments here. Look at these dolls. They're just beautiful. All from when she used to play with them. Plates hanging on the wall. And even some perfumes. Eau de Cologne de Paris. Fresh mist. Facial cocktail. Skin refreshener. And here we got our handwritten letter. I don't know the names of the children actually. Let's see if there's something on here. Love Aunt Raterni. 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 Okay, it's from the aunt. It's probably a letter that she wrote to her. Dear Marjorie, this is again directed to the mother. Interesting. And then we have the still made bed. Look how pristine this bed still looks. Wow. Let's look if there's anything more of interest in here there are a lot of letters oh i almost pulled over this cabinet a lot of letters still in here let's look at this one oh we got a graduation picture of a boy this might have been the boy that lived in this place and we got also some text on the back here this is a uh, kinet kinet and this picture is from class of 63, 1963, Oak Creek Regional High School. Okay, this is a picture of him. The boy of this place. Some Christmas letters also still left in this place. This is the general Christmas text on there. Very interesting. This cabinet is about to fall over. Some hooks in here as well. Yes, everybody, it's already almost getting dark right now and we have one last part of the house to cover. And that's the room here in front of me. But it's not the least because this is a very beautiful room actually. I must say that I love this one the most of the entire house. Just the wall design, the woodwork that's onto there. And then the bed here in the middle of the house is just very fascinating to me. Just the design on the crown with the D in there. I don't know what the D stands for, but it's beautiful to see. All the details that they worked into the bed. And also that this bed is still made with the yellow cover over the bed and the single pillow at the top of it. Just a very serene sight. Okay. They also had an complimentary 
vanity here to the side of the room with these flowers on top of there and this picture of this lady Mayurin still standing here on the vanity we have another bottle of eau de cologne here wow a sculpture of scalps that they collected at the sea and probably made into this artwork and this is a picture of one of the children that lived in this place here you can see them together more perfumes all spread throughout we have a little library here in the corner of the room the world books all the books from A to Z stacked here right next to each other encyclopedia about different plants and animals probably they needed it for their garden and their forest behind their house and a peacock over there <laughs> a purse from somebody still left here and here we got some more pictures of the children of this place I think this is the same girl that we see over here and then we have this young boy standing to the right of it and a beautiful artwork as well right here Mexico Mexico probably a place that they went on vacation lovely lamp here in the corner and then this dress hanging from the side of the wall what a place everybody what a place and they had this built-in cabinet here or this built-in walk-in dresser with all the clothes also still left over here just fascinating to see and even more teddy bears and everything the suitcases to travel with or all the left here let's have one last look at this bed together because to my opinion this is a fascinating view of this household Every single time while exploring I'm just bamboozled by what I find like how can these houses that have everything still in them just be left behind I have never never ever expected it from the United States but I must say I'm really starting to like this country like not only abandoned wise but also culture wise and just in general this is a great country it has its flaws but on the other side it's also a very very great country to travel through and the people are just so warm and open and yeah I'm loving it so yeah we filmed another beautiful time capsule this week I'm happy that I could share this with you that I bring this to the internet and make this a memory forever thank you all for watching this week's video if you liked it please like the video subscribe down there if you're new to the channel and if you want to support me there's also a link in the description for patreon this helps me a lot on my mission to document everything around the globe <laughs> so i want to thank you all and I'll see you next week in another episode bye bye love you very much Whew.